to Thursday, 30 July, end of the month here. Month end is tomorrow, but we'll see some month end flows today. Tricky day yesterday in a sense that we got what we wanted with the dovish fed, but then we had these bearish engulfing um, hourly bars. Here's the cable bar. Cable traded up to 30.15 and then back down 129.57. So that's a 60 point bar. Um, at the highs, bearish and golf, we have not made it above this high again. And it seems a bit ominous. Euro did the same. Euro traded 118.05. Bearish and golf, the hour before with the tri with print down at 60. And it's a 45 point bar. Um, not sure why maybe the market's just a bit tired of this trade uh, maybe it's a little bit crowded but it looks like um, well until we get above those two highs 118.06 130.15 um, looks like we're going to stall a bit here and maybe uh, change the trend do a little change in trend day today we got GDP out of uh, Germany and GDP out of the US today GDP out of Canada tomorrow so let's let's just see what happens here. A little bit bearish um, euros at the start of the day today, day today here. Don't really know how to structure this yet, but do we try and get short to get long? Um, do we just tactically trade this? Not really sure. I guess the conservative way to do this would just be, you know, start getting short once we see a new sort of range low, which was yesterday, 54. 117.54 was the sort of range low after bearish engulfing. We'll see. Dollar Swiss, uh, another big red day. Not really sure what to do with that. That just looks bad, right? It's risk off and dollar off. Dollar yen feels like she wants to consolidate a little bit as well. Prices above 25 will probably lead to some sort of squeezy, squeezy deal. Um, we're conviction fade on dollar yen, so the tactical book is square, but. Any prices around between 1580 will sell today. Dollar yen. Cross yen. Kind of wanted to turn, but then it didn't. Uh, so we're just kind of stuck. Dollar czar did turn. Very surprising we didn't get through 35 uh, yesterday as stocks traded up to 32.50. Um, czar just resisted appreciating. I think this is very telling and evidenced by yesterday's price action. You need to be long dollars are. I don't think 1635 is going to trade. Um, of course, the risk reward now between 1660 and 1635 is a bit screwy. I'm going to drill down on some of the shorter time frames. Not super clear. Where or why um, this is doing what it's doing? If stocks go left today, this is your horse. Sixteen eighty looks looks really in the cards here. Um, I don't know. Two days ago we printed a high of sixty one. Basically, yesterday we printed a high of sixty two thirty. Dollar Czar looks like she wants to turn. And if this is the canary in the coal mine, maybe we get a bit of risk off with it as well. Aussie made that 96 high. Didn't quite bearish and golf off of it like the cable and the euro, but came off pretty hard and now we have not got above it. It's exactly the same chart. Your jump off point is 58. Um, 
Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Looks like the dollar wants to turn. Euro Aussie, our old friend, not much to do there. Aussie Yen, we were talking about in our, talking to the little guy that lives in our head, about 75 the figure. Of course, this bar here printed um, 86 and a half, but three days ago it was figure. Two days ago it was figure. Yesterday it was 12. Um, Aussie Yen, if you like risk off, that looks okay. Kiwi Yen also, we've been playing short side of that for just a low vol risk off uh, proxy. Swiss Yen, who cares? Here's Kiwi Yen. Pretty weak, gotta say, Kiwi Yen. Um, The interesting low here, 81. Yesterday the low was 79. Um, today, 78. We're going to get a little whoopsie daisy here um, through 80 at the open. Kind of looks like it, although it is summer market, so let's not get too, too carried away. Kiwi. Uh, we're all very, very familiar with 65.90, which was the leap off point for the move up. Should be support down there. Um, and that'll be a pivot if you want to get short. So I wouldn't get short Kiwi yet. Um, straight Kiwi. Look for support at 65.90. Dollar CAD. Tease. Didn't do a whole lot. The big bar up in Dollar CAD just kind of matched those 30 lows. There's a double bottom there, 134.07 is the neckline. Um, up to 77, back down. Not sure what to do with dollar cad. I'm actually really looking forward to getting short dollar cad through 133, the figure, if um, this dollar negativity continues. If the dollar negativity does not continue, we don't we don't buy dollar cad. Um, we'll just be patient. There's other other currencies you can sell against the dollar that I think are gonna, gonna do better. Take a look at dollar turkey. We don't really trade it too much, but some odd price action recently. Bang, bang, bang. Looks like the CBRT is running out of ammo. Um, on paper, we don't have to really uh, explain it to anyone. Any Muppet in the world can see that turkey economically is just so fucked it's not even worth talking about eventually this is going to blow up um, go to 10 I mean the only way they can get themselves out of this is to, de to de devalue their currency to 10 20 percent um, and so this will happen eventually it just depends where and when they keep changing the rules about overnight and rolls and so we don't trade dollar turkey too much, but it is it is sort of turning here. And maybe that's why dollar rand couldn't get out of its own way yesterday. Uh, dollar turkey knocking on the door. 7 double O again. Gold just keeps ripping. Looked like it wanted to turn, but it was indecision, indecision again through the 75 highs, new highs today. Uh, 2,000 looks like it's in the cards today. Um, gold. Bitcoin. Same chart as gold, except for a little wilder, believe it or not. Um, hanging around 11,000. Also looking robust, very, very bullish. Crude, not doing dick. Um... We're just waiting. We talked about it earlier in the week. 40.50 and 42.50 are kind of like little peekaboo levels, like something might be happening with crude. Let's take a look at dollar China real quick. So we got some Chinese numbers tomorrow. Um, I think we have uh, PMIs tomorrow out of China, yeah. 
So that'll be like 3 a.m. Swiss time. This could move uh, if we get some negativity out of China. And if euro dollar turns and the market gets caught a little bit short dollars. So it's worth having a look at the chart. The chart's not really telling us too much. Um, hanging around 7. No, I don't know what to do with dollar China, but keep in mind we got PMIs tomorrow. Finally, dollar Norway. I mean, Euro Norway. Just watching this uh, 1075. If oil collapses and we go risk off, uh, this will be our horse. Euro Norway, top side. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, watching these sort of necklines in Euro dollar 57 cable. Um, 50, Aussie, 58, um, to see if this dollar is going to turn. We're going to keep it tight and keep it tactical. Um, the dollar negativity trend is not going away, uh, but we just might get a little bit of a pause in it today. Uh, that's where we stand. For you guys, I wish you luck, uh, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.